This presentation is the final argument in the Red Cross case study for MMC 5636 at the University of Florida, Team B, Group 2. I'm going to talk about re four reasons why the employee should be fired. First is the brand reputation. Second is professionalism, company social media policy, and finally, a social media mistake matters. It's not a small mistake. Um, as a nonprofit humanitarian organization that depends on donations, public perception is key to continuing the mission of the Red Cross, which began back in the late 1800s. The company's Twitter account reflects the work the organization does. So this includes people who are affected by disasters in America, support for family of the military and their families, or members of the military and their families, blood collection, processing and distribution. This one in particular, I think, is relevant here because the level of um, professionalism required when we're talking about dealing with things like HIPAA um, and you know medically related processes becomes much more stringent than if we were talking about you know food collection or something along those lines. Health and safety, safety education and training, international relief and development. So not only is the Red Cross brand a symbol of dependability and hope in difficult times, but its employees and volunteers are expected to be helpful, compassionate, and professional. Um, the organization has many guidelines for both its staff and volunteers for this reason. And as you can see on their Twitter posts here, um, the organization doesn't, you know, doesn't put doesn't approach the information it's putting out there lightly. These are very serious, you know, um, news events that are happening that are being tweeted about. So maintaining professionalism in the Red Cross is what makes them among the top prof, top how do I write, top nonprofit <laughs> top nonprofit brands receiving donations. Basically, it makes them you know significant in the world of um, humanitarian nonprofits. And so this particularly this article shows that text donations was one of the things that the Red Cross did first and was very successful with it. In this case, twenty one million dollars raised through text in two thousand ten. Um, so the fact that the text, using text is part of kind of the way that the Red Cross uses technology to further their mission. Social media is also part of that mission. So here are the guidelines uh, for the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies. And of course, this isn't all the guidelines, but I thought this first one applied up here where it says be a good ambassador. While it's everyone's personal decision to whether to use social media network and tools or not, you should always be aware that your behavior and opinions reflect on the organization. Now, obviously, they're not talking about the person whose job it is to tweet um, for the company, but in this case, reflecting well on the organization um, is applicable. The accidental tweet not only shows an inability to be a good ambassador for the company, but also the lack of ability that the employees showed in using the social media tools the way they did. Um, this particular case isn't like some of the others that we read. The National Labor Safety Board's cases involved employers prohibiting their employees from organizing or expressing beliefs. And the National Labor Safety Board Act addresses specifically that thing, which is not what's happening in this case. Um, however, in our readings, one article outlines social media cases lost by the employer. Specificity is key in social media cases, as these cases point out. That was a little bit repetitive, but basically what I'm trying to say there is that in the, the cases outlined um, that we studied, we can see that in those, in those instances, the social media policy was not clear. There wasn't a, a, enough of a um, kind of understanding of why something was right or wrong under the social media policy. But in this case, the tweet posted by accident, um, the employee was not trying to express their own ideas. The employee made a mistake. That mistake was not within the range of what is acceptable in terms of damage to reputation to the Red Cross and their employees, and therefore that employee should be fired. A social media mistake matters, whether or not it's intentional. A tweet is not recoverable and could therefore have further unforeseen repercussions for the organization.